everyone, this is Beth from Art by Bedell. Today I have for you all of the finished journal panels that I was creating out of those sketches that I made while I was down at the river. Seen all of these. And uh, I had also had one of the cards made and I posted that for you to see, but now I have them all done. So I'd like to share them with you. Just to remind you, this is what we started out with. This is what the sketches were. I had done them on vintage ledger paper. And I had many of them that I had done. I think there's like 26 total. And then I've taken them from there and I've created them into this. This is a journal panel. And I do believe that this is the one that I had shown you that I had done, but since then I had add more to, more to it. So the panel starts out with a five by seven piece of cardstock. And then by the time I ripped all the edges and tore it down, it ended up being, um, that's like four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So it's like a quarter of an inch off both sides. So it's it's an approximate, five by seven is an approximate size. And they probably all vary just a little bit. And then I collaged onto it. The first thing I added was some dictionary paper, which you can see here. And then I added some card uh, scrapbook paper, which you can see behind it here. From there, it depended on how big like my image was that I had sketched and how much room I had left and and the various things that I wanted to incorporate into a collage. They all have packaging, which is here, and cheesecloth on them. And then they have labels and different elements. Um, they all have some hand stitching on them down the edge here that I had done with embroidery floss. They have all been um, speckled with some gesso and they all have gold leafing around the edge here and also on some of these labels that I had made. Some of the labels I had taken and layered them onto two pieces of cardboard that came from boxes out of your pantry and that gave them just enough dimension. The inspirational words came from HG Designs. And then we have other added elements from Tim Holtz Collections, from Anna K. Craft, uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah, My Porch Prince. And I think that pretty much gives credit to everybody. So the backs of these are prepared in case you want to use it for a journal card. If you don't want to use it for a journal card, then you just have the back that's been finished. They can be used as a journal cover panel in which you would use this as your focal image and then build around it. It can be a mini journal cover actually that you can use it for. It can be a tuck spot on a page in your journal. So if you had, this is your page, you would sew or glue down the left hand edge and across the bottom and you would have a tuck spot. If you wanted to make a pocket, you would sew or glue across the top, across the bottom, across down the left hand edge and you would have a pocket. And if you wanted a top pocket, you would sew down the left, the right and across the bottom and you would have a pocket such as that. So there's so many uses you can use these for. You can also use them for greeting card panels on the front that would be very pretty you can use them on your scrapbook pages for some nice little elements it's it's limit unlimited as to where your own creativity can take these so this one is um, called a bee fern because of the bee and the fern and it says enjoy today that's the inspirational verse it has some green paper here same on the back and then we have a calla lily here that has an antique wooden button up here. And these images of the ledger paper is vintage ledger paper that I had sketched and watercolored on. This one says, and still I rise. We have a can with a little birdie down here in the bottom. And then some collage elements up here. And these are all nature themed. We have another can with some different foliage inside it, and this one's called Persist. Then we have some cattails, 
Got to have cattails in our nature journals, right? We rise by lifting others. We have another fern. I call it my conquer fern because conquer from within. And then we have a fern on there. I just love the numbers um, and all of the, the writing, the handwriting on this ledger paper is absolutely beautiful. Here we have a courage fern. It's called Courage, Dear Heart. And up on top, we have a page tab that is made with some of the scrapbook paper and the ledger paper. Here we have a day lily called Take the Risk. And we have a side page tab here. And it has a little bit of collaging along that. And then on the back, I've carried some of the collaging to the back side to make it real pretty. My sister-in-law had a little ceramic duck by the table um, where I was sitting and working one day. I decided I wanted to sketch a duck. I used that as my inspiration to draw this little duck. I think my little duck has a little bit big feet, but maybe his big feet go with the theme that is dream big on here. I don't know. Follow Your Heart is a feed bag with a bird on it, and it has some pine branches in it. Be a Voice, Not an Echo is a fiddlehead fern, I believe. I need to actually look this up and make sure. This, um, These dates here, some of the ledger papers I had to, when I tore them down to make them fit onto the panel, I tore off um, like dates like this, and they, they were just, I thought, precious. And so I saved it, and then I thought, yeah, that'll make a really nice um, piece of ephemera. So I glued it onto two pieces of my my food box cardboard. And so it's dimensional here. It's pretty, made, made a nice piece of ephemera. Then we have a, a colorful one that's called Actually You Can, and it is flowers in a basket. And some more cattails. I probably could have gone crazy with the cattails. I like to draw them. They're really easy to draw. We have a little bit of Tim Holtz ephemera up here. And this one says, Fortune Favors the Brave. So this one is called Fortune Cattails. We have a magnolia blossom here. And we have a side page tab here with quite a bit of um, little labels and stuff all collaged together and it says I can and I will and you get a sample of the beautiful handwriting that was on this ledger paper. We have a house plant here with an antique button. This antique button is plastic and I have taken a little bit of gold rub-ons and rubbed around the edges of it. And then we have a top page tab that's made out of a label. We have a pothose house plant and it's called be fearless again with an upper tape page tab that's made out of some ledger paper and some packaging we'll have a rose in a jar with some butterfly ephemera that says be courageous all of this paper has been um, etched around with ink and the ink that i used was ground espresso this is one of my favorites. I have several that are my favorites and this is in that group. And it's a snake plant. Uh, it's, the verse is what you seek is seeking you. And up on top here, this little element is some book binding. I tore off an old book when I was using the book for um, photos and stuff for my journaling. I just, I don't know, I just really love that one. We have a bud in a vase. Strive for greatness. Lots of cheesecloth on this one all along that whole edge. Then we have a, I call it, what did I call it? It's called Strange Fern and it has a top page tab here and it has another one of those elements that has these dates and you can see the ledger paper is dated back to 1962. String of Pearls house plants called You Are Enough and then I've taken a label down here and cut it in half and just used the bottom half of it. Here we have some red berries and some vine in a teacup. It says, be true to you. Up here we have a Tim Holtz flower. Then we have a terracotta pot. It says, nobody is perfect. And then we have another um, side page tab here. This is a vine, shine like the stars. Another page tab out of ledger paper and some packaging and some cheesecloth. And the last one I have is the tree. Just a very simple pine tree with some nice collaging. If you take that packaging and you pull it and stretch it and get it all out of shape and then crumple it up, you can get more texture than when you just glue it down. 
So that I thought that was pretty cool. Some of this is not totally, as you see, it's a little loose. I like that in my journals. Um, if you don't like it, then obviously you would just glue yours flat down so that you didn't have that. But I like to have loose texture in my journals. So, and this one's called Flourish. And there's the back. So that completes our collection of what we did with the sketches that I drew down by the river. This collection is called Down by the River. And you can find all of these on my Etsy page and in my on my website. And I hope you enjoy them. I hope you get inspiration from them. I want to thank you for coming and watching. And you have a wonderful day. We'll see you again soon. Bye now.